Go ahead and start us off. Set the shit off, my dude. Hollow Knight's boss ranking tier list featuring two people ranking bosses at the same time. How in the hell is this going to work? Let the journey begin. We had this uh, really interesting idea where two people at the same time would be involved in ranking bosses. We're actually going to take turns ranking bosses ourselves. So like, let's say person one uh, decides to rank a boss. So like, for whatever reason, let's just say I decide I'm not going to do this. Or I might, who knows. Mm -hmm. Let's say I want to put in KG there. You would. Whoever places the boss, um, just places the boss, like whatever. And then the other person will be forced to justify why the boss is in the rank that it is. So if I put in KG in D, in D tier, um, <laughs> I have to figure it out. I have to come up with some good reasons yep. as to why NKG should be in D tier as opposed to S or yes. I'm not gonna lie. I I kind of started preparing a list and I'm I'm ready to go. I'm ready to throw down. You're ready to throw down. Okay, so you're actively trying to fuck me. Oh, I'm acting. Yeah, you, you're yeah, trying you're to done. make me just say the stupidest shit. Oh yeah, yeah. You're you're gonna look like a fool here in about two seconds. All right, you're, you're so cocky. You're so you're so sure in your plan. You go first. Well, what, what what are we doing? Massive Moss Charger best boss in the game why that's S. that's, well, I that's mean, not S, even an argument of course mmc is like i have an entire two minute skit on, on like my boss ranking video on why this guy is such is like he's so amazing i think the minimalist design of him like he's just a bush you know he's mm. really just a bush with a face first of all he's a bush with a face that's fucking amazing how many okay. bushes have you seen in real life that have faces on them? That's like that's that speaks to his unique character. He's got some it's definitely not something you've seen before, so you've got that unique approach to it. So right off the bat, like you see him in the game and you're like, this guy's big shit. Now this guy's got a bush. Like, first of all, the bush is like three times as tall as I am. And it's like so it's got like that mystery factor, and you don't know what exactly the bush is until you've already defeated him right mm, that's so true. this entire that's time you're fighting the boss you don't even know what you're fighting really like you're just fighting something inside the bush or maybe you're you are fighting the bush this unique approach that's just like it really does give this like it feels like i'm playing a completely different game you know like it's just the whole atmosphere of not knowing what you're fighting this whole unknown factor sort of thing it really gives this boss fight an extra flavor mm, okay and it, it just i i can really i can really get into it man i i think i think i think he's easy on purpose you know i think it's a um <laughs> i think he's <laughs> man fuck this is hard <laughs> i feel like we'd be lying <laughs> to ourselves the you. whole time <laughs> why did you <laughs> i was going into this confident as fuck and you just like come out swinging <laughs> with this this bullshit i mean this amazing boss on the s tier you just you, yeah. you really uh you you really set me up with this one man yeah the, the <laughs> you're, mystery, you're, you're huh? really fucking me in the ass on this one i'm not gonna lie got him good like, coming out coming out hard with this amazing boss like this amazing unique butterfly <laughs> lovable by design boss that um you just you just can't help but love like even even if and even if you do think he's easy you still had a good time fighting the boss because like fuck yeah an easy boss what's not to love about an easy boss you know it's perfect Fair enough. yeah you got a break in the pantheon you don't, you okay. don't have a okay. reason you, 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 no one has like everyone can think of a reason why they could love the moss charger you know he's he's alluring he's friendly <laughs> he's easy to fight like he's he's just a good boss man all right <laughs> fair enough fair enough <laughs> I like it. I'm I'm not gonna lie. You, Do you? you? You pulled out you pulled out some good stops there. I, I wasn't expecting the, the the mystery card. Well, you know what? Since you come out swinging, I'm gonna come out swinging too. Uh, uh, I used this as an example earlier, but uh, just because fuck you, NKG on D tier. Go go ahead and argue that one for me. Let's, That's let's, easy. Let's see what you That's got. easy. Is it? So Nightmare King Grim. He's not the. He obviously comes out swinging. And he is so Ooh, yeah. fast. He comes out so fast that the first, at least 10 times you fight him, your brain can't even comprehend what's going on in the fight. And and right off the bat, you just you just feel demoralized. D for demoralized <laughs> in that fight. It's it's just you're, you're taking double damage. You're you're thrown off your game. The 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 moves are changed just enough to be just a pain, just a pain in the ass. You've got you've got the the spike pillars that are coming in at different directions. The oh, the bats that you just find 
finally learned how to get down. You, you're, you're, they're changing the timing of the jumps, and and then he's got the fire that's coming out of the backside of him. Everything is just there to to just mess with you, and it's just so different from the first fight that if you have if you've been fighting N, uh, just regular Grim for long enough, you can actually just completely forget everything about Nightmare King Grim and completely throw off your your pantheon fights. Mm, that's true. It, it, it is difficult, and that does. That's the only reason that that it is up from the F tier is that because when you beat it, it feels good, but it just not to be like, I'm so glad this effing boss fight is done. D for done. Look at that. <laughs> See, we're getting we're getting all these all the D's in there. D uh, for he, pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's not S tier like most people talk about. He's overwhelming, especially for for the average player, and that's something that you got to take into account as well. Is that it, he he's going to be too much for for the the average player base, and and sometimes you got to look at it from the perspective of somebody who doesn't have twenty hours. Yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, to put into j- just practicing a boss fight over and over and over and over again, and and just getting screwed over. Like think of all the people who just never looked up. A tutorial video on how to do this and they they just give up and it's just like you know what this is the reason why they decide to quit the game just right there just boom it's it's <laughs> it's so overwhelming that people are just just done and and but then if you didn't get the upgraded charm you already had the one percent you didn't even have to fight him to make him go away and if you didn't get the unbreakable charms then then divine goes away Another mm-hmm, D, that's true. and then then you're dicked <laughs> over that way, and you don't get the you don't get the unbreakable charms if you just fought NKG too fast and never talked to Divine. <laughs> this is slowly just becoming like a, a a laundry list of like D words that you're just spouting out. Yeah, it's all the D's. You're getting dicked over like <laughs> dumbass bats. Let's see. I went high first, so uh, man, I want to know why uh, why were the why were the sisters of battle so bad. Well, I mean, first of all, the si- Sisters of Battle, they practically have bad in their names, like bad toll, you know? That- <laughs> <laughs> that's not a stretch. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a stretch. It's fucking, it's like, it's like, that's how, that's like right on the nose. That's how you know a boss battle is bad. Like before you even start fighting the boss, you can see it in, in, in its own name. You can see that it's bad. Also, the Mantis Lords, one of my favorite fights ever, you know, but like. And I was going into because this is a Pantheon exclusive boss fight, right? Sisters of Battle. You, you're True. going into the to the to the Mantis Lords. Um, you know, pretty, pretty. It's a boss. You know, it's it's easy. Mm-hmm. It's predictable enough to follow. And then you go to the Pantheon expecting the same thing. And man, did you lose the first time you 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 fought him? I haven't beaten them. Are you serious? No. <laughs> 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 I, I got a great idea for a boss, you know. Let's let's take let's take a perfectly fine boss that was in the vanilla game. It was perfectly enjoyable. It was a good middle ways boss. It, it was engaging enough to keep you entertained. And 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 then and I love how Hollow Knight's just like, hey, you know what? We're gonna make you fight him again. We're just gonna make Double you fight the, the same exact goddamn boss. But it's not the same exact boss because we're just gonna we're just gonna throw the third one in there. You know how you fight the first mantis. And then speed it up, yeah. And then you just speed it up, and then and then the two come up, and like and suddenly you're fighting two. And that was a really memorable scene from the Mantis Lords, you know, like the the first one sits down and takes a break, it's like okay, you bested me. And then the other two rise up, it's like no, we'll it's like we'll fight for you, we'll fight for your honor. And in Sisters of Battle, like the one in the middle, just because he because she thinks she's so goddamn important. Just like, no, I'm not done. I all three of you are gonna like what corporate ass middle finger is that? I cannot put into words how awful this boss fight is. It's it's unnecessarily fast. It's obviously like not geared toward a casual player. That if we're going off of NKGs, like that's definitely not a boss someone's gonna finish on their first try. It's definitely a, a bit of a blue ball moment if you lose to this fight on the Pantheon. Because if you're not expecting mm-hmm. it, of course mm-hmm. you're gonna fucking lose to Sisters of Battle because you're expecting Mantis Lords. And then suddenly all three of them give you a standing ovation and then they start cascading down on you. And then, oh, it's it's suddenly raining mantises for no fucking reason. Done. Mm. Worst boss fight in the game. <laughs> I'm actually surprised you didn't bring up the the how they, they exiled the brother. Oh, uh, that that's also well. That that's its own boss, though. It's its own boss. So I, but I was like, trying. But, I was trying to stay like as pigeonholed into the like I was trying to stay on that specific boss. But what a bunch of a holes for for casting him out! Like they couldn't help him. I think that just looks bad. I just think it looks bad on the 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 mantis lords. 
Are you saying the Mantis Lords are F tier? Uh, are you saying the Mantis Lords are F tier? So I'm, I'm, I haven't said anything. I think you should go ahead and say the Mantis Lords are F tier. All right. Well, I, we're, well, I just already made my argument. Is that <laughs> the Mantis Lords <laughs> kicked out their brother? I mean, granted, I understand that he was seeking ultimate power and that he uh, uh, what was was doing his own thing, and they thought that you know what you 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 can't come in here if you're gonna get all infected like and and try to get all all big and swole on us. <laughs> but that looks that it's so bad on them. They like that's like casting out your own family. It's like like cutting them off like like you can't help them like if your family member has like some some deep stuff going on You don't just just cast them out forever and just like you never let them back into the kingdom one and number two What like they're like the whole fight just doesn't make any sense because the switch to get into the fight is outside of the fight itself they've got these giant stone doors that lock them in to seal off the the deep nest and and the switch to get inside of their whole arena is on the outside. That makes no sense. Why would you put a lock on the outside of the door that if you're trying true. to protect your house? Makes makes no sense. And then you, you get down in there, you're trying to you're trying to go into the deep nest and then they stop you. It that doesn't make any sense. If you're trying to get into the deep nest, why don't they just be like, Yeah, bro? He's it, totally it, gonna get is, killed is, in there, just let him have yeah, it. <laughs> this is a this is a one way this is a one way uh street, but if you're gonna go that way, I don't understand why the door is open to begin with. Uh, and then they shut it on you again. Another a hole move that they're that the the mantis lord, or yeah, mantis lords are doing. And then and then the fight begins, and they're they're a bunch of projectile throwing you know what's. Like <laughs> we can all agree that almost all of the enemies that we hate the most in this game are throwing projectiles. And uh, this is one of the few bosses that are they're, they're throwing the projectiles and and having them come back, and they they they're doing the arc thing, right? So. They they they're on the same level. F tier. Get them out of here. Umu. <laughs> so yeah. astonishingly that's Umu, right? Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I drag and drop the right one. The big one. jellyfish the, one. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the I, I, I always I always one. mix up Umu and Marmu. Like their names or like the actual boss? Their names. I okay. mean, I know what the <laughs> boss is. I look at it and like I know what this boss is. You look is at it, you tell it the does, but I yeah, M's. Well, first of all, uh, just jellyfish in general. Uh, just what extravagant animals in in our animal kingdom, you know? Like it's really hard not to argue why this boss is so cool because it's modeled after an animal that we have in real life that's already so goddamn cool to begin with. Like you're you're like a floating pillow cushion with tentacles and you sting shit if they get too and it's cool like they they're practically brain dead yet they're one of the most ferocious predators in the <laughs> ocean. Like how does that even work? How how do you, how how can you be that badass? And I think Umu boss wise kind of lives up to that because you know his move set he doesn't really have a move set he just kind of floats around. It's like you're not expecting too much from this guy. It's like oh he's he's he seems kind of docile. Like does he want to be friends? Does he want to give me a handshake? Does he want to like like open the way to the dreamer for me? He's like is he trying to help me out? Is he a friend or a foe? And then just fucking lightning bugs just out of nowhere. Bam. Just fucking oh we're fighting. We're enemies. That's that goes back to that mystery factor because <laughs> he doesn't have a fucking face that he, he does. He's not wearing a frowny face that tells me he's like, oh, we're enemies. We're gonna be fighting. He just surprise attacks you with all this lightning ass shit, and you, you just like, oh, we're fighting. It's a su it's a surprise. Gotcha. You see him, and yet it's still surprising when he attacks you. He's like like his indifference is what makes the fight so badass because you're completely unsure of anything. The lightning goes. Just, just fast enough to be uh, the greatest thing ever, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the lightning bugs just like appear at random places, and it's uh, complete luck as to whether or not you get hit. Um, that, in and of itself, is another great mechanic. Um, and we all love gambling. Absolutely, yeah. We all love pachinko machines. <laughs> At least Konami thinks we do. Fucking right. <laughs> and uh, it's just a really interesting mechanic just walking into the fight. It's like, oh, am I going to get hit on this attack? Am I not going to get... Is, it, is he going to pull something out of his fucking jellyfish hat and kill me somehow? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can't wait mm -hmm. for the surprise. That's good stuff. It's, it's never not engaging, you know? Mm. Always fun to play. It's always fun to be in the same room with Umu. I definitely don't plan on using B or C that much because, you okay. know, that's not fun. Yeah. Um, I got to kind of change my tier up my list a little bit because I went down to I had some D's, E's, and F's, but I can I can move those around. You know what? I have an idea actually. So what you got? 
I want you to explain to me why the Hive Knight is a B tier. And you better give me a shit ton of B jokes, my dude. Oh my gosh, because I don't have all the same B jokes that you do, though. <laughs> I was watching your your live stream the other day, and ninety percent uh, of those I, jokes were Ross. <laughs> uh, yeah, be yeah, because oh man, what, what if I'm being it? honest, honey? If I'm being honest, yep, yep. Uh, what was what was some of the other uh, some honey? Um, we made a lot of B I, movie jokes. Yeah, you more guys than, are all more over than that B should've. movie. But this B but this boy boss is this... he's he's fast. First off, I mean he he he, he just starts dashing at you right off the bat, um, and it's one of those things where it catches you off guard, but in a good way because you you know that you only have this this one chance to defeat this boss. Otherwise, you've got a long long trek back to the bench, and then you have to think about everything you did wrong in that fight the whole uh, way. You've got nothing but sitting with yourself yeah. as you're going through each of this bee's friends to get back to him, <laughs> hoping that you don't take the double damage from those giant bees that are just going to bash your face in. And if you just so happen to get lucky enough to get back there without taking a bunch of damage, you're then going to um, uh, proceed back to the fight all over again. And so not only is he dashing at you very, very quickly, teleporting briefly giving you a chance to do any sort of damage he's then throwing bees out into the void with his mouth open just gaping just bees like crazy it's i mean it is it is an intense fight and you're constantly on edge and and it's quick it's quick i mean how many how many fights are 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 that fast <sighs> save for the ones that that it, it's it's fast but it's not as overwhelming as uh, Nightmare King Grim. That's one of the reasons. You, because also with this one, you're you're with Nightmare King Grim. You're 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 fighting and dying and fighting and dying. This one, you you got a chance to kind of sit with yourself and figure out. Okay, well, what did I do wrong? I did this. I did that. And you you have a whole trek to do, and it's one of the few bosses that when you fight them, you have to go that far. And you know what? Sometimes mm -hmm. sometimes that's part of. Uh, a lot of people complain, oh, the bench is so far away. It's just like, no, you, you need to you need to think about this. You need to think about the mistakes <laughs> you just made. And Team Cherry just like really made you sit with uh, all your mistakes on this one. It was uh it was definitely definitely an, an interesting fight. And what do you get at the end of it? Not honey. Something much, much better. You get that you get that sweet hive charm. This B boss fight is definitely B tier. Yeah, I mean I don't know how it could get any any better or worse than that. So I couldn't help but notice there weren't any. Uh, There's a severe lack of B jokes in that. I don't know oh. any B jokes. <laughs> oh, you're killing me. Uh, uh, it's so, unbelievable. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. Hey, uh, did you know? Oh, I just got a text from my dad. Did you know that? that <laughs> this. Oh my gosh, that was freaking hilarious. According to all known laws of aviation. It's my turn. It okay. Is. Um, Hit me I want to know why Marmu is B tier. Well, you know, Marmu is uh, definitely not one of the... Uh, Marmu's a caterpillar, you know? Mm-hmm. Is Marmu a caterpillar? Uh, For the Marmu's sake of this video, Marmu's, Marmu's a caterpillar. Every, everyone assumes that we're supposed to know everything about every one of these characters and never forget any of this stuff. No, no, it's been, like, I... I've forgotten more stuff about all of these bosses than I've ever learned. Or, like, if, if, if somebody was to ask me, hey, where's, where's this one uh, charm notch? Or where's this uh, thing? I'm like... I don't know. I made a video on that like a year and a half ago. I, I got to yeah. look it up. Yeah, you definitely don't have to explain that to me. Like, I'll, I'll be <laughs> like, like, it'll, I will, I'll stay away because my, my information retention is shit anyway because I have the attention span of, 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 of a caterpillar, basically. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Argue why Markiplier <laughs> should, should be a boss in Hollow Knight. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Ooh. No, no, no. We need to stay on task. Marmor. Yeah. Yeah. Marmor B tier. <laughs> well, uh, it's basically the world's uh, most engaging ping pong simulator. Um, mm. Whether or not that's good or bad is up to you. If you like, if you like ping pong, uh, it's pretty fun. Not ping pong, you fucking idiot, Rusty. Paddle ball. That that's the game that I was talking about. <laughs> some people are really good with rhythm. You know, some people can actually like the naturally ryth rhythmically impaired, like uh, myself. I'm just gonna say this boss is, this boss is really good at making you look like you don't know what the fuck you're doing, mm. because if you do, if you do kill Marmu first try without getting hit, no sweat, no blood, no tears, none of that difficulty shit, get that out of here first try, kill them in one hit, 
He's like, it's not, it's not impressive. It's Marmo. It's, it's not, it's not something you put on your fucking resume. It's not, it's like he didn't kill Pure Vessel or NKG or Rezi, or Brady, and she killed Marmo. You killed the Dream Boss. If you do get hit, people are just like, huh. come on, man. Fuck, you got hit by Mar- you got hit, by- you got hit by Marmo. <laughs> do you even play lying. Hollow Knight? You're you're right. It, I mean, it's one of those ones where if you do get hit or like or or take a, a bunch of damage, like like you could go in there with like two or three masks and actually be worried if you're gonna lose the fight because it it's uh it, it's hard to tell exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah, because yeah, like the game's physics, some like conceptually, Marmor was an easy boss fight. It's like oh, he just like pad, just paddle his fucking ball for him back and forth. Mm-hmm. You know that sounds easy, but. Like he'll ricochet off walls and like the game phys- the game's physics will like fuck you just enough to where you take a hit every now and then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What what it's it it's annoying taking even one or two hits fr- from Marmu because you just like you start doubting yourself as a gamer. And it's like fuck, do I even play Hollow Knight? Am I really this good at the <laughs> game? I did hitless pure vessel like thirty fucking minutes ago, and and now I get I get my ass I get my shit pushed in by a paddle ball. But but the but of course the only good thing about this boss is the best good thing, uh, which is um, it's easy as fuck. That's true. It's like you're definitely not expecting to run into a boss in the middle of the Queen's Gardens. Especially after going all the way around. Yes. Yeah. Especially yeah. not one so close to a station. It's like, so you're just like, this guy probably isn't tough. And he isn't. Obviously, it could be better. You know, the game's physics could, you know, not fuck you over every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, such, such is the nature of the beast. Uh, okay, what are we doing next? Uh, uh, let's see. I picked I pick that one. It's your turn. You picked Marmu. Um, yeah. Well, Crystal Guardian begins with a C. So you're going to argue why Crystal Guardian is a C. I like it. I That's like it. So, so first off, <laughs> Crystal Guardian, he, he, he comes off looking like he's going to be your buddy. He's sitting at the bench. For, of all things, I mean, mm-hmm. every other bug who's sitting at the bench, whether whether it's Coral when you see him at the City of Tears or it's Breda when you see her um, up in Dirtmouth, they're friendly. You've you've never seen a bad bug sitting at a bench until you've come across the Crystal Guardian, and he he's he's not friendly. Why 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 is this unfriendly bug sitting on your bench? He makes it so you can't sit mm-hmm. on the bench in, until you t- just until this you bad knock him asshole one. just taking up all the room. Right, right, yeah. and he's not, and because he's at a bench, it means that this fight is further away from a bench than you'd like it to be, mm-hmm. and being in the Crystal Peak, it's one of the, obviously one of the mandatory places that you have to go, and so it's very easy to come across this fight early game, and when it's early game, maybe you don't know how to pogo as good as you should, and and how to get on top of him and, and around or whatever, Ooh, you you. For me, this he killed me so many times the first time I fought him. I'm like unapologetically, and back then I didn't know if there was a way to cheese it. So it's a boss that you don't even really have to do because you can cheese the heck out of it, and and just wear the the what is it, defender's crest, and and he'll just he won't even get up. He'll 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 just take the damage and take the damage until he just passes out and and eventually jumps out of the way. It's it's just kind of a silly fight. It's it's a C tier. It's it's one of those ones where and then. Later, once you're over leveled and you've got the, uh, uh, you've already got the shade cloak, um, and then you've also got uh, unbreakable strength and different things like that. He goes down so fast; it's not even a fun fight. It, it's he, he might shoot his laser pew pew at you like three times. It's done. Game over. He's gone. It, it, and then at that point, he's just a speed bump in your your progress to the the pantheons. See for what a silly fight. Or what a what, <laughs> C, for, C for silly. All right, I need I need you to tell me why uh, Elder Who is A tier. Elder Who is A tier. Hmm. Well, first of all, the name Elder Who, the name in and of itself just sounds so fucking badass. You know, it's like you look at all the Dream Warriors, you're like oh Marmu. I was like, what's his deal? It's like I don't know what his name means. It's like. You look at like no eyes. Is like her name is pretty self-explanatory. She has no eyes. But you hear you hear a you hear a title like elder. Someone who has the name of elder. Like they did some badass shit to get to get recognized for that. You know, They've like did around. this guy conquer a village? Is this guy how many blocks has this guy been around? What exactly was triumphant enough about his accomplishments to to be warranted the title of like elder? Who? It's not just who. It's so like, is he like a sage? Like, you know he's a badass before you even fight him. So already you're getting riled up. It's like, okay, this is going to be a cool-ass fight. And uh, then you actually fight him. 
and it's <laughs> Oh, it's it's just such an engaging fight, you know. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, you know, Shade Cloak doesn't trivialize it at all. I think it's perfectly fair without <laughs> with with Shade Cloak. I, I I got one when you're when you're <laughs> going with that name with that name scheme. I was just like, oh, that makes sense because his name's Elder Who, because maybe he does have a name. But nobody knows what it is because he's killed who? everybody back, who's ever encountered exactly. him. It's back to the mystery factor again. Nobody knows his name because no one has lived to find out. Yeah, except and then, for and you. Then obviously, you there's, there's some sort. Yeah, right. But he's already dead. So you, I mean, what kind of accomplishment? You still is that? don't even know his name because you killed we him. You can't know. ask. But 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 you know, <laughs> I, I I will say this. It's uh, it's easy enough. For, for you to feel gratified at the it's definitely not marmu where you like if you get hit by just a random flying crabby patty just like in the fucking air for no reason it's like it's not it's not exactly demoralizing which is why i think i, I would put the elder above marmu in this case because marmu has that stigma attached to the fight where like if, if, if you get hit you're just you just suck and uh, I don't think Elder who has that nearly as bad he has the same That's amount true. of engagement in his fight without the cost of embarrassment if you if you catch some if, if you catch some stray damage every once in a while you know a for easy as f- shit <laughs> yeah the a's in there so i didn't say it began with the letter a the a's in the a's in there it's, fucking... it's for for az is az as shit <laughs> the aziest <laughs> boss a <laughs> tier you know what else is a tier my dude uh oh, what do you got? Uh, fucking uh, one of just hands down one of the best bosses in the game. Uh, the fucking Vengefly King, man, A tier boss, straight up. You want to know why the Vengefly King is A tier? I totally want to die, man. Educate me. Uh, v- Vengefly is chomping on Zoat. Zoat the <laughs> Mighty is being chomped on by the Vengefly King, and we don't know what exactly caused that to happen, but we do know that the Vengefly King can actually destroy Zote to the point where he never returns. That is the only thing that we know of, that we're aware of, that can actually fully and unequivocally destroy Zote forever. And that feels so good to me. If you know anything about me and my disgust and hatred towards Zote, the way that Zote destroyed me in the Pantheons is just like, I am I'm so happy to know that there is something, the Vengefly King has the ability to do that. And so the fight itself, it's it's at the appropriate level for, for where it's at in the game when you first come across him. I mean, he all he does is kind of do his little swoop and takes a dive. Uh, maybe maybe a little uh, uh, little little thing spawns every now and again, uh, more so in the pantheons in the original fight. But that said, it's 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 not overly difficult and it's it, it's right on par to give you a little bit of training before you get into some other harder boss fights. It, it's something. It's it's a confidence booster fight. It's an it's an it's an easy boss if we're if we're going with that. <laughs> we're, we're right there. It's 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 one of those ones again. It's sometimes sometimes you need a you, you needed a, an underhanded layup to to be able to to just dunk on a boss and this is it. But just mm-hmm. boom, you, you know that if if you can take out the bench like King who's taken out the taken out Zote. You're you're good. You're you're in a good place, dude. Imagine being one of the few forces in the world out there that can take out someone that's as badass as Zote. You know, just imagine right. that power. Like they're gonna write fucking books about you, man. Like, shit. Mm-hmm. That's not an mm-hmm. not an easy feat. Let's see. What do I got for you? Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, now we're getting mm-hmm. into your plan. We still got some pretty good ones up here. Well, there's 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 a couple of them left. Uh, let's say uh. Hmm. Gru's mother, B tier. Gru's mother, B tier. Well, the first thing about the Gru's mother is she's so, she's so hard to see. She's so she's such an expert at camouflage. In fact, that I can't even <laughs> find her on the goddamn there. There she is, B tier. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like, what? Okay. Well, first of all, just her just give no fucks attitude just exudes big dick energy. B for mm. big dick energy just exudes <laughs> it. How does she begin the boss about the very first? But for a lot of people, the very first boss in Hollow Knight, not the False Knight. You're just gonna stumble upon this mm. upon upon this mother, and uh, she what, what what's she doing? What's her beginning move? What what's her you know her super saying? You know what what's her ace in the hole? Taking a fucking nap. She's just taking that. She just she doesn't give a shit because that's how little she that's how little you mean to her. That's that's how much of a disturbance you are. She's just taking a nap, and she obviously finds 
finds out you're there and she wakes up and she's moving sluggishly like you know when you you know when you kind of sleep for 10 hours and your neck feels weird in a way you got a headache for two hours <laughs> it takes you a while that's basically her you know you like, she's got a headache she she's just pissed she hasn't had her morning coffee yet i'd be fucking mad too if you just walked into my apartment it's like hey let's let, let's fight you just walk into my apartment with a sword at seven in the morning. It's like, hey, dude, want a duel? And you're pregnant? And and I'm pregnant with nine kids? That are all fully viable? I'd be pissed. She's protect. Mm. It's, like, it's that motherly sort of drive that just like, it gives her fuel for that boss fight for, for her to be such like such a fierce opponent. That said, the boss fight itself kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, she has two moves and they're both bullshit. I, I will say this, like unironically, it it gives you a look at just how dark and depressing this game is gonna get, like the lore of it, because mm-hmm. you just walked into a bug's apartment, a bug's living space, and murdered her and her nine kids, just murdered the shit out of them, just shish kebobbed <laughs> the absolute living fuck out of these guys, and just and didn't that's in care. A church. And you're just like you're walking away from that boss fight, like shit, did I just, I just did that, you know? I yeah. just, I just committed. Like I just committed like ten homicides, and 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 yeah, and and it, I, like like it just dawned on me like like that is a church. Like she was probably going there to to seek refuge. She's sleeping. Like, you were she's such safe. a big asshole that you walked into a church, and your first response, <laughs> to kill, your first response to seeing someone napping in a church was, "I'm gonna kill the shit out this motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Oh man. Well. uh... Yeah, that's that's just it. Unbelievable. I'm still I'm still making be- the hive night was like six bosses ago. I'm still making fucking beat jokes, my dude. Can't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. You know. Yeah, man. I've definitely got some bosses that just really piss me off. And uh, I think I think you made a good point earlier when when we were when you were arguing about the the, the Vinch Fly King, and um, Vinch Fly King, of course, simply being a tier because he is one of the few forces of nature that can actually kill Zote. Oh. Uh, it's just insane. Uh oh, I see where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> you were uh, you were pretty adamant about your disgust and hatred for uh, Zote, oh, but uh, I'm gonna shit. go ahead. I think you're lying. I think you have this unresolved sort of love hate relationship with Zote. I think Zote I do. is I actually really do. one of your favorite bosses in the game, and you, sir, are in denial. I want you to explain why Grey Prince <laughs> Zote is an S tier boss. But I want you to do it with, with a smile on my face. <laughs> with a with with a smile on your face. I will know. I will tell by the tone of your voice if you are not smiling. <laughs> Zote is is an enigma in and of himself because he is one of the few things in the game that can go one of two ways. Either either you you let him die which most people aren't in fact it's one of the very few achievements that that it's it's one of the achievements that most people miss it's actually one of the top 10 achievements that most people miss is actually letting zote die and so that means that most people are going to fight zote zote could either be alive or dead and somehow both of those are canon so he is schrodinger zote it's i i thought that was pretty interesting just, just as a as an aside but Zote is is one of the few characters that has such uh he evolves so much as a character throughout the game which the only other character that that has so much change is your yourself is the little knight but Zote is probably a close second because of the fact that we see him go from uh it's such a, a terrible place just being chomped on to being in in deep nest, so he's traveling just as much as you are to then finally being in the Coliseum of Fools very much like the little knight. I mean, he's doing the That's little true. knight stuff. He's doing right? work. He's all over. He's 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 doing work. He's traveling. He's getting around. And and not only that, but he grows in a way that that is unprecedented even compared to the little knight within the same time frame as the little knight. I mean, he gets all kinds of crazy moves and and all these crazy titles as as he becomes uh, Zote Prince uh, 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 I'm gonna pound you in the ass knight uh, I, mm-hmm. I I don't know all of his titles please excuse me I know somebody's gonna be like oh you mean loving b- breathing piece <laughs> of shit Gray Prince the, Zone the, 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 the I'm yeah Gray Prince Zone the the one that the, the one that's gonna get you it's it's one of those things where it it is love hate it 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 
sometimes you, you, you want to hate him for the terrible things that he does to you. But all of those things that he does, taking your girl and ending your, your, your Pantheon runs, it, it's all for the better and makes it so that way you develop as a human to start getting over it. To, to be like, you know what? I'm going to keep going. I, I'm growing and, and I'm going to, it just gives you that much more resolve to, to continue and fight on. He's done, he's done you dirty, but you know what? You're going to come back stronger for it. That's true. Got, <laughs> did you believe that? Because I didn't. <laughs> he's, he's, got a, he's got like this Zuko redemption arc going on, you know? It's like, it's, no. it's like this character arc. S mm-hmm. for steal your girl. For steal your girl. <laughs> I've been sitting on that one for a good minute. All right. Fuck. What's It's time to dick me over. So, Oh my gosh. I know that this is one that you enjoy, if nothing else, for for just the the sensual sounds. (laughs) I fucking knew you were going to do this one. S tier. Fluke Marm S tier? Heck yeah, it is. Well, fucking. Okay. Well, let's just talk. Let's (laughs) just talk about the auditory experience that this game (laughs) gives you yeah the sounds are kind of annoying i can see how they would be uh, be annoying to some but here's the thing here's the thing that i really don't think a lot of people get about fluke marm fluke marm has to have those annoying sounds because hollow knight itself wants to show you how versatile its sound design and its auditory experience like it really wants to show you how deep of an auditory experience it can actually give you it's kind of like if you don't push the boundaries, if you don't overstep it, you don't know where the boundaries are in the first place, you know? And although Fluke Barm <laughs> is super annoying with the... You piss me the fuck off <laughs> if I had to listen to that for 15 minutes. But it just wants to show you how good this audio design is. Because here's the thing, if those sounds annoy you, isn't that just a further testament to the fact that the audio design is kind of pretty badass? Like they, Can't have they, the good without the bad, right? They knew. They totally knew what they were doing. They wanted this guy to be annoying. They, w- girl, whatever. Fuck you. Mm, it's okay. This all ex- This all started from this boss. This all started. Just even the conversations you can have about this boss, it's impossible not to be deep with it. You know, because like. Just the boss in and of itself, it represents so many things. It tells you the fact that Hollow Knight's audio design is p- fucking perfect. It tells you the fact that, oh, it's like sometimes you 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 need sometimes you need just a, a completely easy boss to like just to, to separate yourself from the NKGs and the pure vessels and the and the and and the you know and the and the Zotes, the Grey Prince Zotes of, of the Hollow Knight verse. She gives you just the most badass charm in the game. If you're going for spell builds, which is fluke, uh, stone, sh- sh- shaman stone, but better. <laughs> <laughs> like if you're going after a spell build, man, it's impossible to not think that charm is easily one of the greatest. Like it fits into so many little situations in the game. It's it's hard not to love it. It's It's a perfectly easy boss. It's practically just handing out it's just handing out rewards left and right. It gives you exactly enough of the auditory experience. And, and here's the thing. Those annoying sounds it's making only makes you want to kill it faster. That's true. Right? The, you, That's you're true. not going to hear those sounds for like five minutes. No. It's like, because the, the boss isn't that fucking hard. You don't want to go back. The boss isn't that hard. and lose. You don't want to go. Yeah. yeah. It's like being thrown into this chaotic mess. It's like walking into a car wash without the car. Like you're just walking in there in person for a, for a couple <laughs> minutes. It's going to fucking suck. But you walk out the other side clean and fresh, just a new person. <laughs> you have no idea what the fuck you just experienced back there for the last two minutes, but you know it changed you in some way. It changed you? <laughs> Fluke Marm is one of the best bosses in Hollow Knight for all of the reasons I've listed. Those things live off of the excrement of, of the rest of the city, right? And and what came of it? <laughs> Fluke Marm making more and more babies and things. Like, Fucking S for shit eater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that on, was it's on that you. was yours, right? Okay, uh, yeah, uh, you yeah. did fluke barm. All right, now it's my turn. Dung, dung defender. Let's talk about this guy. Let's talk about dung defender. Um, of of course, you you know I'm a stickler for alliteration. You know, it's I I, I can't not do it. Mm, I can't seek out mm-hmm, an opportunity. Mm-hmm. I I I, ha- I just have to I have to alliterate. Describe to me, dear sir, why dung defender deserves a D rank. 
Oh, I mean, that's easy. The dung defender living in his own dung hides like a, a little dung boy. I don't I don't know a, a better way to put it, but he hides under the ground. And it, obviously with the desolate dive, you're able to pop him up and, and, and rip him out from his safe little hiding place. But I mean, there, there, there are few enemies in this game that are... Uh, they're, 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 he's just hiding. He's hiding the whole time and just, <laughs> just freaking like. I, I'm trying not to be politically incorrect and say something like he, he's acting like a little girl. And for I, I understand you're not allowed to say that in this day no, and it's, age. It's my channel. Do it. Uh, he, he's acting like a little girl. Is that like, <laughs> like, like, like if I was, if I was co- <laughs> with my, f- <laughs> she'd run away like a little girl. See, see. That was terrible. I please don't include that <laughs> oh joke. God. That's so bad. Holy no, shit. Uh, seriously, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I want to leave your reaction in because that was fucking priceless. Yeah, I just put like fine. a five second beep. It'll 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 be part of a highlight reel. Oh, uh, that's funny. Oh, that's fucked. Uh, yeah. It's oh, fucked. that's fucked. You're fucked. <laughs> that's fucked. How do I describe the way uh, this boss just runs away from your attacks and hiding underground like like uh, like some sort of jack o' lantern, just ready to pop out and and just uh, pretty much just scare you. You know what's coming. You just don't know exactly when it's gonna come. Do 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 do. Bah! Gotcha. <laughs> um, yeah, and then and he's throwing his dung at you. I mean, you're you're probably gonna get hit by by a wall of shit. Like it's it's coming. You know it's coming. And and you like that's what's it's exactly what's going on. And and we're just lucky enough to not have smell of vision for this fight because it would be god awful just having this guy rolling around in his dung hiding in it popping out throwing it at you and then when you do defeat him he's not even defeated he he runs away from the fight this guy is supposed to be defending the kingdom one of the five knights and he's he's running away and, and hiding the whole time like that is true well, that, How is he supposed point. to defend anything, especially before he was a, a, the dung defender? Like, more than likely, that came from some sort of, like, mental breakdown that he had from when the kingdom, like, fell into ruin and then he became, like, all up in the dung? Maybe? I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> don't fight me. Leave he me be, alone. He became senile. <laughs> Yeah, he just became senile, and he's just like, ah, oh, I thought this was something else. It's just like, you you just pooped that out right now. What do you mean you thought it was something else? <laughs> ah, that's how I make videos. <laughs> that's a good idea. I'll save that's that for later. That, that's a metaphor for life, honestly. It's like, sometimes you're just going to get hit by a wall of shit, and there's nothing yep. you can do about it. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you do. You just And, and then you got to run away. D for the disgusting dung. Defender. D for Desolate Dive. Ooh. What mm. you got for me? Uh, let's go with uh, Lost Kin D tier. Lost Kin D tier. Whoa. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's actually pick this apart. Let's, let's unpack this guy. So first of all, Lost Kin. This is supposed to be him. Like That's kind of a little more conscious. It's like he knows what he's doing. He's obviously fighting you with intent. Uh, what the fuck is he so lost about? What's why? Why is? <laughs> mm, 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 okay. And on on top of on top of being because you have champion tyrant and you have uh, and you have kin on top of being uh, hands down the easiest of those three. Um, he he has all the same moves. They're just slightly more annoying. D- despite being the magnitude of the fight that it is, it feels underwhelming. It does. It didn't feel that engaging. It felt about as engaging as the broken vessel fight itself, which I've never, I've never personally had a problem with. I hear a lot of people saying, "Oh, broken vessel is kind of, he's kind of hard." Uh, no, the fuck, he's not. Okay, I'm sorry. Broken vessel is one of the easiest bosses. He is, he is so easy, in fact, that not even the lost kin with a souped up move set, you, you can, you can, you can increase the tempo on his attacks up to 200. percent You, you can make him as fast as you want, but nothing is going, nothing is, nothing is gonna hide how easy that original boss fight was. It just makes me want to fight something harder. You know, hmm. because if you've got to this fight in the first place, like if you've even managed to get to the lost kin, you've you you've, you're you've, there. You've beaten you've beaten some dudes. You you've beaten the ass of some dudes. I'm gonna go on a limb. Let's say you've obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and say you've beaten both Hornet fights. You've probably beaten Schrader Lord. Maybe you've been around the block or two um, by the time you get to the lost kin. And um, just because of how late in the game the fight is, I f- I feel like it should be more challenging. I feel like it should give you 
a little more for it um, as a reward for beating him. But uh, he, he doesn't even talk to you like the other two. Like the, the other two, you dream nail, like the champion and the tyrant. They have this cool little monologue. The Lost Kin, no dialogue, no buildup, no, no flavor, no voice acting. He just, not, he just gives you a fucking heads up and then pieces out. What, what the fuck kind of outro is that? It's not, it's not mm. worth it. Easiest of the three bosses underwhelming fight the only thing that keeps it from f tier is the fact that he gives you 400 dream essence which is awesome for how easy the fight is okay yeah and it's just like fuck yeah i could just go to the palace now i wasn't even expecting him to give me that much yeah <laughs> only good thing about the fight is the fact that it ends mm. that's 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 deep mm -hmm. you, you could you could extrapolate that to like life wow <laughs> the only good thing about that <laughs> about life is that it ends. Oh man! I mean, if you if you're real morbid about it, it like this started as a boss ranking, and now it's just this meta commentary of like life, and you get hit with the wall of shit. And the best part about it is that it ends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that it, it's not a good boss, but it'd be fun. Uh, ooh, I think I, ooh. I I think I got my candidate. Ooh. Why don't you close us out by explaining to us why uh, why Gorb is an A tier fight? A tier, yeah. Putting it, He's putting him up there. Okay, way well, up there. Well, have you actually ever truly ascended with Gorb and really lived that lifestyle and, and know what that actually means to ascend with Gorb? I mean, it. I, I know everybody out there is in the comments is is they would they would be livid if Gorb was anything less than A tier. In fact, I'm surprised it's not an S tier, uh, just because <laughs> you should be ascending with Gorb. And if you don't know what that means, and you just you just haven't ascended yet, <laughs> you just you just don't you just don't get it. And and you, it may it might be lost on you, and it might be lost on some of the viewers as well as to how you truly ascend with Gorb. Um, but the big brains out there will 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 truly appreciate what that means and, and what it can do for you because mm -hmm. um, the, the fight itself i mean he's just kind of floating around he's, he's shooting the spikes at you and, and you're kind of doing your thing but to ascend with gorb is is truly why it is why it is a tier and and i mean look just look at how big his brain is if you're not ascending how big can your brain really be i mean you're 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 just not on the same level as gorb hence his his flying ability it's it's truly something magnificent to be able to to see the uh, just sheer ability and mindset of of that which is Gorb. But I have a feeling the comments they're they're going to be ready for it. They're they're going to be ascending for sure. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so, some of them will be ascending straight to the top comments. All right, so this is this is part one of of our, is this going to be a three parter? It might be, man. How we rank sixteen, and there are forty seven, I believe. Seven, forty six, yeah. forty six. Yeah, Other yeah. who, maybe because because <laughs> uh, Zote and Great Prince Zote is combined that, to that's one. That's true. Yeah, unless so. you guys think it shouldn't be in the audience. Oh my! Gosh. Actually, that's that, that's a that's a, a good cliffhanger. Uh, in the comments, rate where you think Coliseum Zote should be, and then explain why. Don't just leave a letter. I want you to actually explain why you're doing it. Dissertation why style. In the, yes. I want a thesis. I want a, I want you to cite your sources in Chicago Turabian format. <laughs> <laughs> and I want you to click the bell and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Do it. But, uh, because you, because you only ascend with Gorb if you actually subscribe. Anything you want to plug before we shut this off? Any channels, uh, any not Twitter too much. Accounts? I mean, it, if, if you are here and you're watching anything about Hollow Knight, you already know that I am the Hollow Knight uh, YouTube tutorial guy, the go-to for for helping you out. So uh, I guess my only thing to plug is is just subscribe for more Hollow Knight tutorials as well as Hollow Knight Silk Song whenever that comes out, quote unquote, air quote <laughs> soon. It's coming out. They they said soon, quote unquote, a year ago, and Silk Song is real. <sighs> Silk, silk song silk song is a theory that's uh yeah that's pretty much it i'm excited so i guess i guess the other thing is, is part two or at least one of the parts is probably gonna be over on my channel so you better subscribe yes. if you want to see it you, you you physically you, it won't show up for you unless you're subscribed um and even if it does show up uh it, it's it's not as funny unless you subscribe if it if it does show up good for you congratulations on being special it, it doesn't um, count but part two uh, we are planning for that to upload to Real Use Channel. So if you want to see it, you better subscribe to him. 
You should subscribe to me too, anyway, if you aren't. But you should totally subscribe to him. Wash your fucking hands. <laughs>